Thank you for tuning in to Race Grooves. Here we have some more cases from Johnny Lightning. Round two, sending me these cases. You have Street Freaks 2017, release one. I have two cases of C and two cases of the D colors. Let's go ahead and get right to it. It's been a while since I get a, got a White Lightning. That's their uh, chase pieces. Hopefully I uh, wind up with one here. If not, Still so got some very nice die cast. Oh yeah, this is the batch that had the surf rods. Love the surf rods. I collect those myself. I, I probably have almost all of them that have been released over the years. Uh, Johnny Lightning started in the 690s. Uh, it changed hands a few times, a couple times. Yeah, a few times actually. But uh, now they're back in the original hands. Here we have the 1958 Corvette in like a seafoam green. Limited to 1,256 pieces of each colors. color. This is the Surf Rod series. Here you have Zingers. So in silver, you have the 1962 Chevy Corvair. Oh, Black with Flames. Here you have the... Uh, my, I'm getting a little confused here. I thought I already did these, but now I'm confused. 2005 Ford GT Black with Flames. Again, only 1,256 pieces. I know what the white lightning looks like for this one because I'm trying to acquire one and the price keeps going up and up and up. Here you have the 1962 Chevy Bel Air. Oh, that's pretty interesting. 1962 Chevy Bel Air. Okay, got me confused all of a sudden. I was thinking uh, 50s. That's not a 50s style. Now I know why. 62 Chevy Bel Air. Here you have another Zinger. By the way, this one was the Spoilers series, which has blown engines and the racing number on the side. Zingers, these Zingers are raked bodies and they have big tires in the back, uh, little tires in the front. So this Zingers, the 1959 Chevy Impala convertible, has a white interior. More than likely, that doesn't make it a white lightning. More than, more than likely, it's going to be a white body. And here we have the 1964 Ford Falcon delivery. Kind of like uh, golf colors, it does look like. And like that one as well. Two, four, six. Let's go ahead and crack open the other C case. These are going to be the same cars. Same colors. Because it's the uh, C case. They don't, uh, they don't mix things up. If it's a C case, you... You're going to get exactly what you see right here. There you go. Mmm, nice. Ford GT, one of my favorite cars to collect. I, I say it's my favorite licensed car to collect. So, C case assortments. No chase piece. Now, here we go with the D. There you have the D right there. Mm, as you can see, the picture, white. And that's the way it's supposed to be. It matches the picture. They, they don't... Mm, I don't know. In the old days, I think they might have actually put a white car in the picture. So here we have the Impala convertible. It's kind of like a dark brown. Here's the 1962 Chevy Bel Air. For the DSO it's orange, and it does look like it has uh, plastic tires. Mm, pewter, it's kind of a gunmetal color, pewter color for the Ford GT. And when people ask me what kind of a Ford GT do I like, the 60s versions, the 2005 version, or the new 17, 16, 17 version, this is the one I like. I like the 2004 GT. That is my favorite Ford GT. This one, a uh, flat paint for the 62 Chevy Corvair. Oh, one more. almost forgot. Here is your other surf rods, alternate color. And last but not least, the second D case that they sent me to unbox. Any whites? Mm, 
no, that one's white, but it was white already. There you go. Plastic tires. Oh yeah, gonna be racing. I have a lot of four GTs over the years from Johnny Lightning. Whole bunch. Some have rubber tires, some do not. Okay. Oh, I did it again two times. Okay, now let's go. If you don't mind, instead, I went over to the other cases that uh, I unboxed a little while ago. I think a couple months, I forget. Uh, here you have uh, A and B. You can see A and B assortment. And I just unboxed these, C and D. This is the, uh, con the Chevy Impala convertible. So you've seen these two right now. And here was the other two colors in case you want to seek them out. Interestingly, uh, usually when they do recolors, I thought that they kept them the same, but it looked, looked they gave it, the first two had tribal decorations, whereas this one here, just solid, no, no graphics. Of course, they gave it the uh, tail lights and the silver trim, you get your license plates. Let's go ahead and check out, uh, oh yeah, plastic tires. Even though, even though these look like they might be rubber, it's actually just printed white wall tires. Let's go ahead and check it out here. There you go. Look on the inside. You can see when you see when you look inside and you see this, you know it's plastic tires. Use a chrome insert. These uh, these pop out, pop out if you want to pry them out. Change the hubs. There's how they make the rake system rake system for the zinger. Put that plastic piece underneath. There's your blown engine. There's quite a few zingers collectors, and I'm sure they have this one already. The 2017 series release one had two zingers cars. Here's the other casting besides the Chevy Impala that I just showed you. Now here we have the other A and B assortments previously. And this one was from this video. And if you heard me pause, it's because when I unboxed it, it's like, man, that looks, that looks like, it made me confused. I thought I already unboxed it before and it's the same car. But uh, just a difference in the graphics. And that's what I'm talking about. Typically, I thought they just do recolors for each mix. So if you like zingers, there's four different colors for you to collect of the Corvair. I definitely remember doing this unboxing video because I talked about, well, why is the engine in the back? Well, Corvair is a rear engine. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. I, I know quite a bit about uh, toy cars, but real cars, I don't, I don't exactly know all about real, real cars. No opening hood. Uh, that's because the engine's in the back. But uh, don't you have a trunk? Where are you going to put your stuff? So red printed red line tires. There's a look at the metal base with the plastic raking, raking system. Yep, very nice military type design. I know quite a few people who are like uh, trucks and delivery type vehicles collectors. So these two came out of that case. And here is the A and B uh, color variations. So this one's Gulf. Kind of flip of this color. They have blue for the body. They flip the blue and orange colors, light blue. Those are nice to get. There's your four colors. It does have plastic wheels. Metal base. It's a spoiler, it's part of the spoiler series. So no opening hood, has a blown engine. Nice details. Plastic tires, interesting plastic inserts. I don't keep track of which inserts they use when, but I really don't, uh, I don't really know if I've seen those too often. Here's the 1962 Chevy Bel Air. I showed you black and orange. Well, the a and assortment had like gold and this uh, navy blue. Wow, it's, in a camera I can see it's bluish, but in person, wow, it's, it's almost black. It's really navy blue. Let's see, this is the one that I opened up in the video. Get to pop it right back in the blister, take care of it. Because you know why? I, I can read this, but when trying to read the base, man, this stuff's so tiny. I mean, how do you even read it? And a lot of cars don't even have a name on the base. Metal base, detailed metal base, plastic tires. Blown engine, of course. Can we take a look inside? It's kind of hard because it's uh, black. Kind of hard to see inside. Steering wheel. There you go. Next. Ah, uh, yeah, the 2005 Ford GT. 
And when I open this one, it's like, wait a second. I thought I had that already. Well, this time, before, they put yellow in the nose of the flames. Same flames, but they just, uh, this one, they have a black ahead of the flames, and they colored it in with yellow here. Let's see, this one's silver with blue flames. Yeah, same thing. They just didn't put the silver in the front. But uh, actually, the color is different. This one's black. Car itself. That's a glossy black. This is glossy black. But this one's a pewter, like a pewter type color. This one also has plastic tires. I couldn't help it. I, open, I opened up two colors in the first video. Favorite car, I had to open it up. But let's go ahead and see. Here is the uh, Ford GT. Thought I felt that pop out, but maybe it's just creaking. Interesting base. Now they make authentic bases, so I assume that the original is like that as well. Here's a, uh, by the way, you can see RC2, Johnny Lightning. Yeah, one of the, uh, now all those family, all that family of cars is now under the round two family of vehicles. Uh, toy collectibles, die cast vehicles, die cast collectibles. You know what I'm talking about. There you go, Ford GT. You'll be seeing him in a downhill racing video on the Race Grooves YouTube channel. By the way, if I didn't mention it, Black with Flames, that's the series for the uh, Ford GT. Black with Flames. Now we're going to do Surf Rods. This is a fantastic series to collect. And uh, I really enjoyed the Surf Rods too. It's kind of cool to get a little surf surfboards on top of your vehicles. None of these are white lightnings, even though they do have... Uh, this one kind of had a white body. Uh, I think it was a white interior that made the chase. I forget. Uh, this one, white wheels? Uh, nope, not a white lightning. You're going to have to look it up. Uh, I won't be able to show them to you today. Sorry. A and B, there's the other two assortments. And I showed you these in the video. Let me check that uh, surfboard. I don't know if I how closely I looked at the surfboard. Now, this batch had a lot of uh, plastic tires. As a matter of fact, I think uh, all of them had plastic tires. There's your plastic tire. I never even seen if I could pop these off. I don't want to. But yeah, they don't, uh, they don't, they're don't. they not removable and then you can't pop them off and pop them back on. I remember this one. I couldn't get the hood open and it, I think someone told me that it actually goes forward. It's got that little piece of paint right there in the crack. It won't open up. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching my Johnny Lightning case unboxing video for batch C and D. Here's some other videos if you'd like to check them out, uh, recent videos, and something YouTube is going to suggest for you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.